Hello everyone and welcome to a new mini series where we're going to take a look at randomised loot and how we can get that involved in any game that we sort of do. Uh, today's episode is going to be mainly setting up a rarity set, uh, situation, so you've got the common all the way to legendary, uh, and how we can go through uh, using a map and how we can get that to uh, to work. So we will firstly just show what I've got here. So we've got a brand new third person example template, um, just so we can see exactly what happens going on in the world. This one isn't just going to be a plain one like we used for the Pong. Uh, so what we're going to do first of all is we need to create uh, a bunch of rarity classes. Uh, so I'm going to create a new folder in my content browser and we're just going to call this loot and this is where we're going to store everything in this, in this series. And first thing we're going to do is going to go into blueprints and we're going to go into enumeration. We're going to call this rarity enum and open that up. Tabify it and then we can add a whole bunch of enumerations. We'll start with uh, poor common uncommon <coughs> Rare, ultra rare, uh, godlike, and legendary. And we can have unique there as well, but for the, for this uh, tutorial, we don't really need that. And save and close. And then we're going to need a blueprint struct. And we're going to call this item underscore struct. <coughs> and in here, all we're going to have for for now is going to be the rarity. We will add to this later on. And we're going to change that to be a rarity. Enum. So what we need to do is we need to create a spawner, which is going to have all of the functions inside of it, uh, which will then create the item. So we're going to create a new blueprint actor. I'm going to call this loot underscore spawner VP. And open it up and then tabify it. And go to the event graph in here. And just for argument's sake, if we go back to the, uh, the component screen, we'll add a sphere and take away all of its comp all its collision. Just so we can see <coughs> where it is in the world. And go to the event graph, and this is where we're gonna have all of our creation for the loop. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to create a new custom event. We're going to call create loot. And first, we, and this is where we're going to fill out all the information for the loot we're going to create. So the first thing we need to do, which will be the main topic for this episode of the series, is we're going to create the rarity and then spawn in an item based on that rarity. So we're going to have to create a function I'm going to call it choose rarity. I'm going to give it a new return node. I'm going to output rarity. <coughs> File and save. So we can do a get random. Uh, make literal rarity literal enum and we can choose a rarity uh, but we want to have a weighted table for this rarity and we want it to choose based on that 
So what we're going to need to do is under the loot spawner, we can have it here or we can have it in the game instance where we store the world data, uh, which is what we're going to do. So if you open up your content, bra content drawer and right click, go to blueprint class and under the bottom here, type in instance and open up a game instance actor and we'll call this loot instance just so we can store it all there and in the profile uh, the project settings under maps and modes down the bottom you've got game instance class and make sure you change to the loot instance so if we go into loot instance now we can create a new variable which will be called rarity map and it's going to be a rarity enum but it's going to be a map and the second option will be And, and the second uh, variable will be a float. So compile and save. And now we need to create the actual rarity map. So this is what we're going to have as the rarity probabilities. So normally you have it add up to one. In this case, we don't need to. But we can add all of the options here. And there has to be from bottom to top as the top option will be the default option so you won't be able to create a second uh, a next one as you'll get this error down the bottom here so rare uncommon common and poor so now we need a probability on the on the left or on the right and this will be how we're going to gather uh how rare the the items are so we'll have legendary as 0.0 no, five. That's so all of these add up to one. Uh, so this gives us the right prob probability. So we can compile and save for this instance now, uh, and we will go back to our loot spawner. Now we need to use that information to find our rarity. So what we're going to need is we need to add up all the probabilities, which in this case is going to add up to one. So let's. Uh, get game instance class to loot instance you can obviously do all of this elsewhere if need be if you don't want to cast uh, but for this tutorial sake we don't need to do that and we can get rarity map so for each key which is the same as uh, for each loop you want to get each one and for each loop you just turns each entry in the map to an array <coughs> you want to find this array element on the rarity map which is going to give us a the value which is going to be the probability we want a sum of all of the probability so we want to add this to a variable. So we want to we'll create a local variable and go sum of rarities. And we want to add to the sum of rarities. We want to set the sum of rarity. So as the sum is set by default to zero, every time it runs this, it's going to start at zero and add the probabilities and at the end we should if we get that 
come up with uh, one. So if we play, we didn't get anything because we haven't put the create loot into there. And we can go on begin play. Uh, let's just add the rarity to begin play for now. So I want to begin play, so I'm going to choose the rarity, and it's going to print the sum, which should hopefully be one. There you go. Perfect. So now, after we've done this, we need to, this is where we roll for our rarity. So we want to get a random float in range from zero to the sum of rarities. And we want to create Promote that to a local variable, which we'll call uh, loot roll. And just for a bit of debugging as well, we shall set orange, and this one will be blue. So we want the sum of rarities to be orange. And we want the loot roll to be blue. So we should never have anything higher than 1. 0 0.83, 0 0.27, 0 0.3. I'll just label this as debug so we can remove afterwards. So what we want to do now is we want to get the rarity map, which we'll just drag over here for now. And for each key, we want to get a for each loop. And again, we want to find in the rarity But this time what we want to do is we want to see is this number greater than or equal to our loot roll. We'll change this for each loop for a break because we want, if this is true, to set the rarity so we can promote a local variable uh, rarity out and then go back to break and complete that for each loop early if it's <coughs> if it's not greater than then we want to get our loot roll and we want to subtract the found number And then set, loot, set the loot roll again. And then it's going to continue around again. Then after it's completed, it should always have a rarity. So we go rarity out and enum to string. So it should now print out common, godlike, ultra rare, common, legendary with a 0.0000031, rare 0.10, rare. So what we can actually do is we can actually keep a track of this, uh, which I will show in the next episode. So we can have a timer set to do every 0.1 seconds or every 0.1 seconds and have this looped round indefinitely. So we can see a tally come up and so we can check how well it's actually done. Uh, but for now, we can leave that into the return node and rarity out. Bar and save. And
around just for so we can see how it is. We're going to take our sphere and we're going to create a dynamic material instance. And just so you can see in here, what we're going to do is we're going to get sphere, we're going to set the material. And we're going to add a switch node on the rarity. We can add a select node on the rarity, drag the return to the material, and then we can choose some materials. So we don't have many, so I'm going to choose blue for poor. Let's refine that, and then we're going to Okay, so we've got poor, we can have uh, grey, common we have white, uncommon we'll have green, rare we'll have blue, ultra rare we'll have red, godlike we'll have gold, and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we've got seven. Uh, so there's one here that I'm missing, which is orange. So we'll have legendary as orange. Button save. So and set the material in there. So now every time I load up the map, it should come up with a different color. <coughs> Just rearrange this and create a timer. So run every second. So now we'll see. It's quite a fair few rares, but we can tweak that. And we can see that depending on the rarity, it comes in and it spawns as it should. Okay guys, well that's everything that we're going to do for the first episode. Like I said, this is going to be a new mini series just showing how to create loot. Uh, we'll, we'll look into some random attributes as well. Uh, maybe look into how to actually equip anything like that. Uh, but this is just the first episode, so hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, I shall see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.